Hi guys, what's up? It's Molly. Welcome back to my fitness channel. I'm doing a fitness vlog today, so I'm just gonna kind of be a little bit of everything, but I, behind me, as you can see, I wanna start off with a grocery haul because I went hard at the grocery store, okay? I went last night at like 11 o'clock at night and I pretty much bought out the entire grocery store. You guys will see. Like, I literally felt so bad. I checked out like really late at night and I was like, I'm so sorry. I just needed everything because we literally ran out of everything in our house. Like, we were out of olive oil. We were out of butter garlic just like basic things that we always use we literally had nothing in our fridge compared to what we normally do like there was maybe like a pepper an onion and some juice in the fridge and that was it so i had to go hard and get literally everything we could possibly need so you guys will see in this video there is a lot of stuff and the kittens are smelling the chicken and they won't give me a break but anyways i'm going to quickly go through right now i took out all of the i don't know if i said this i took out everything that was in the fridge that i bought this is not even including stuff in the freezer and snacks so you guys can see i bought basically everything someone could need. Um, really trying to not eat out and just use what I have in my house. So why not have everything you need? I really don't even know where to begin, but I think I'll start over here. So I tried to organize this the best I could. I have like a lot of veggies right here, then a lot of fruits, then meats dairy over there so i guess we'll start over here with the veggies i'm gonna try and keep this you guys pretty minimal with me talking because if i don't it, this could be like 45 minutes in itself just the grocery haul so let's get going this is some green onion which i literally just bought you guys last night and look at it it's like already bad so i need to go get more of this because i really need this for a recipe today so i'm sad about that but then i got some butternut squash two red peppers we have three zucchini some carrots fab loves cucumber you guys know i do not like cucumber but fab likes it and i'm trying to get adjusted to it and maybe start eating it more because i know it's good for you i just don't like the taste at all it just makes me feel like i'm eating like a spa product i don't know some asparagus we have three I was gonna say red peppers, three tomatoes, two green peppers, a bunch of jalapenos because we cook with those all the time. This is Fab's parsley. Um, we have a million limes. Guys, we cook with lime so much now. Lately, I've just been obsessed with how lime tastes when you're cooking it, so we have a lot of limes. We also use it for juices and all that stuff. So, tons of those, some lemons, a red onion. This is the biggest onion I've ever seen in my entire life, so I only got one because I was like, whoa. Let's see, we have some strawberries, bunch of bananas that I'm waiting to get nice and ripe, some avocados, because lately I've been obsessed with avocado toast. You guys know that. Tons of clementines. I put them in this little bowl that we keep on the island, so that way, you know, whenever you're hungry for a little snack you can just grab one of those some apples fab likes green apples i like honey crisp so we had a little bit of both then over here as for meats we have some ground beef i always try and get like the leanest one that they have so this was 90 percent lean bunch of chicken chicken's like the only kind of meat that i really have that often so we have chicken some lettuce wraps which i thought would be really good to just make like instead of taco shells you can use lettuce some spinach. Okay, this is like the energy drink section. So Fab likes Bang. I kind of like Bang, but if I had to choose, I would choose Celsius. And lately, I have been obsessed with this flavor, you guys. This is the Celsius, if it'll focus. Come on now. Do, do, do. There we go. The Celsius in Grape Rush is unreal, you guys. It literally tastes like a grape soda. It's so good, and I just love Celsius so much. So big fan. Have a ton of Celsius is over there. I love sparkling water from Stop and Shop. This is the strawberry kiwi one, so I just got one of those. I like to keep that in the fridge just to have occasionally with meals switch it up from regular water over here these were purchased recommended by one of you guys so shout out to the girl who recommended this to me i have the wegmans sriracha mayo and then also i've never tried anything like this before the wegmans green sriracha so it says on here it's made with jalapenos tomatillos and cilantro i don't know how to say that tomatillos but yeah i'm excited to try that on something i don't know what i'm even gonna put it on i'm gonna have to like pinterest green sriracha in recipes that way i can get some inspo over here is the dairy kind of section so we have some taco cheese sour cream this sour cream you guys will last us probably like four months if I'm being honest, because we just never really use it that often. But it's good to have in the fridge just for certain recipes, especially when we make like tacos. Like I said, I've been mentioning that a lot because I've been craving tacos a lot recently. So I need this. 
some feta cheese um this is the butter that i like i know i'm like all over the place because these are like dairy products and then this is um plant-based butter but i really like this butter from earth balance i just think it tastes really good i'm not plant-based by any means but i just like the way this one tastes more than regular butter in general some minced garlic this is my favorite yogurt right here the chobani flip in key lime crumble unreal best dessert to have at the end of the day if you like to have something sweet before you go to bed try this you will not be disappointed going along with that though i wanted to try out some new flavors so these are less sugar chobanis i figured these would be good in the morning if i'm having like i don't know this maybe a little bit of granola or like some shredded coconut like that could be good and then i decided to try out this one too i think this has oat milk in it yeah, Chobani Oat, and this one is Peach Coconut Crisp. Peach Oat Blend Yogurt with Oatmeal Crumble, Honey Roasted Almonds, and Dried Coconut. That sounds pretty good to me, so we'll see how that one tastes, but had to get some Chobani Flips in Key Lime Crumble as a backup, just in case these aren't that good. Okay, coffee section. Oh, I forgot to show my other coffee. Oh yeah, it's because it's in the pantry. Duh, this is all refrigerator stuff. So I have the Blonde Roast from Starbucks. When I'm having iced coffee, I like to have this. This I thought was cool. It's not really healthy, but but it's the Ready Whip Sweet Foam. So essentially you just use this on top and it kind of is like having frothed milk in a way. So I'm excited to try that. I already opened it up, but I didn't end up using it. So I'm excited to try that. This I have tried. I used it yesterday morning. Yeah, because I got this a little bit sooner than I got most of the groceries. But this is the Toffee Nuts Latte Creamer from Starbucks. It's a new one. A lot of you guys said it was really good. I tried it. It's definitely really good. I think I like the white chocolate mocha one a little bit better though, to be honest, but that's probably like my second favorite. So it is really good. I love the Starbucks creamers. The consistency on them is just 10 out of 10. Next are milks. So love some good almond milk. Make sure you get unsweetened. And then we also have some oat milk here because that's probably my fave of all time is oat milk. We have two things of eggs. We go through so many eggs, not even like because we eat a lot of things with eggs, but like when Fab makes an omelet, he has four eggs. If I make one, I use like two. So think about that. That's like if each of us had eggs at the beginning of the day, that's six eggs already. That's half a dozen in one day. So we go through a lot of eggs, okay? Um, I decided to try out this new dressing. I just like having a little bit of dressing on some of my vegetables. Like if I roast zucchini and maybe I don't know, peppers. I'll just add a little bit of this on top of them. So I got some Parmesan Italian. We have some guacamole over here because like I said, you guys, taco night is coming, okay? It's happening, so we needed some of that. I have some Honey Mama's Little Bars, Truffle and Nibs and Coffee. Game changers, they're so good. I only need like one fourth of one of these bars to satisfy my sweet tooth and then I'm good. They're really like a dense chocolate, so keep that in mind if you get them. It's really hard to eat the whole thing at once just because they are very rich. And then over here, so I already said zucchini. I got some hot salsa. This is my favorite thing to put on avocado toast, you guys, the chili garlic sauce. I would describe it as like a concentrated or condensed sriracha because it's like way spicier than regular sriracha. I love that for avocado toast. And then from Trader Joe's, I got the buffalo style chicken dip because I've been getting so many DMs telling me that this is unreal. So got that. And then a lot of you guys were saying on my Instagram that you wanted me to try, um, what is this called? Like sweet hummuses because they have like vanilla bean. I got chocolate. So we're going to see how this goes. I want to dip it with like Maybe, I don't know, I have saltine crackers. Maybe like pretzels would be good though, so we'll see. Okay, wow, I am out of breath already, but that's everything that was in my fridge. Now I'm gonna get the stuff probably in the freezer, but I have to put this stuff away first, which is gonna take me like 10 minutes. So I will catch up with you guys in a second once I get all of this away. Quick update, if any of you guys were wondering, oh no, Coco! No, not in the fridge. As I was saying, if any of you guys were curious what the fridge freaking looks like when you pack the whole grocery store into it, this is it. Guys, I'm not used to having a small fridge like this, but I tried to organize things to the best of my ability. We have like drinks, juices, lettuce. Guys, we even have Green Chef back there because I'm doing a brand deal with them soon as well. So we have even more food on top of what I showed you guys. This is insane. Fab and I have no reason. Literally the vegetable drawer came off of the hinges. I had to like put it back on because it's so heavy. Fab and I have literally no excuse 
to eat out. Like, not one. There is not one excuse that will work for this besides on Friday. It's his brother's birthday that we're celebrating. But other than that, there is no excuse to eat out. I'm going to quickly show you guys what's in the freezer. I figure that's... Look at these little... Oh, God. Oh, God. It doesn't shut. What is wrong? Why doesn't it shut? Let's see if it shuts now. Nope. What is... What is the problem? Okay, I'm going to fix that. And then I will show you guys what's in the freezer. Because holy crap, it won't even shut. What am I going to do now? Okay, 20 minutes later, huh, music to my ears, the fridge shuts, hallelujah. But let's go into the freezer and see what we got going on in here. So the one thing that we really need to get that we don't have right now is more frozen fruit. I know it looks like we have a lot, but a lot of these bags are like pretty much empty. So we need to get more of that for smoothies and juices and all that good stuff. But for now, that's what we have down here. None of that is new. Up here, I got two things of the cauliflower gnocchi. This is just good to have in the freezer for when you're feeling like not really cooking too much. This is an easy cop out. So I have two of those in there, plus they're so cheap at Trader Joe's. I don't know how Trader Joe's is so cheap. We got some green beans, and then we got so much corn. This whole bag is just full of corn. I just love adding corn to like anything. So I have a ton of corn, and then this giant one down here, I believe is broccoli. So heavy. Yes, tons of broccoli. Then there's also, I guess, some asparagus down there. So we're good on frozen vegetables. And then over here, the only other thing that I got, I'm excited to try this, you guys. The Boca Vegan Spicy Chicken Veggie Patties. So I love having a good veggie burger, all that good stuff with like red onion, lettuce, mayo, cheese. And then like a side of potatoes. Oh my gosh. Unreal meal. So good. So I decided to give these a try. I don't know. I like the packaging on them to be honest. That's a big reason why I got them. And 12 grams of protein per serving which is insane. So we'll see how those go. I'll probably do them pretty soon in an upcoming video. Maybe I'll cook one today. Who knows. But that's everything that's in the freezer. We don't really buy that many freezer items. Okay over here I was eating overnight oats because that's my favorite breakfast at the moment. Can't stop won't stop. I also got this little bunny dish that has Cadbury eggs in it and they've been going kind of quickly because anytime anybody comes over they just grab like 10. It's a big big hit. I guess now we have to go into the pantry guys. Do you see this? We are stocked up. Like, I don't know. Why are we acting like the world is gonna end? I don't know. But first thing I got up here, let's see. I'm gonna try and go through this pretty quickly because I don't even know if anybody cares anymore. <laughs> is anybody still watching? Let me know. But I got Snickerdoodle Cookie Coffee. It's really good. Um, my favorite pasta sauce, the Arabiata from Rayo's is bomb.com. Let's go down to this shelf. So we have another bag of the mini eggs right here. Um, and then we got more rice. So I got another whole thing of that. Some pasta, rotini pasta, some quinoa. This is my favorite quinoa, just like boil in a bag. It's really easy. Then there's some red lentil pasta. We have some spaghetti over here. So that's like the pasta and rice and grains shelf. Moving down, this is mostly my shelf, I'm pretty sure. Um, I got this new peanut butter, which I've been using in my overnight oats for the past two days or so, and I really like it, you guys. Smooth, unsalted peanut butter. The only ingredient in this is literally like dry roasted peanuts. Yeah, ingredients, dry roasted peanuts. Obviously, there's still a lot of calories, but there's no sodium. Pretty low sugar. Total sugars is only two grams, so that's really good. Like, compare it to the Skippy real quick. Like, let's just see. So, same calories. So, this Skippy is the same same calories but it has 150 grams of sodium it has three grams of sugar and there's way more ingredients on it so it's just better to go with the all-natural roots if you can I've been loving honey recently so we have some of that this is just like a muffin I don't even know and then I got some coconuts and my favorite you guys these Lily's dark baking chips I put them in my overnight oats Every day, they're sweetened with stevia, not sugar, so there's no sugar added. They taste bomb. I love dark chocolate, so that's like a go-to for me. They're kind of expensive, you guys. I think this bag is like $6.50, which is a lot, but it's worth it to me because they're so good. So I have some of those. 
down on this shelf. This is kind of more snacks. So I have some Honey Nuts rice cakes. I figured that would be good with some of this peanut butter and banana and cinnamon. So those I'm very excited to try. I've never tried this brand before, Lundberg. Okay, these from Trader Joe's are unreal. I tried a sample the other day and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get some. Almond butter cocoa bars flavored with other natural flavors. Guys, these are unreal. I know, the picture, it doesn't really look that good. It kind of looks like a rock. They're good. Try them. Just go to Trader Joe's, get this. You will not be disappointed, trust me. I need a ton of oats for all of my overnight oats that I'm making because like I said, I've literally been obsessed. I can't stop making them every single day. Um, back here, so I got these. I love the late July brand peanut butter minis. Thought those would be good. And then I also got, sorry, it's like way back here, the late July saltine crackers, which I've had these before and they are addicting. Hence why I'm putting them at the very back, back there. Not embarrassed that we have ramen. It's been here for a while, but in a case of, you know, maybe one day we'll run out of all of this other food. Don't worry, we have ramen back there. Um, I'm trying to think of what else is new. I guess these saltine crackers are new too, but those are for fab, not for me, because I'm gonna have my late July ones. Okay, we're almost done with this cabinet, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm like sweating. I'm talking about so many different food items. We have two things of sourdough bread. This one goes really quick, because it's like a big piece of bread, so Fab likes having those with his eggs, and then I like it too for sandwiches. Then we have a little thing of sourdough bread. It's kind of all random down here because there's not as much room, but we have some tuna back there that we just got. Love having tuna. I got more chickpeas because I love those too. And then down here, we have some bagel thins. This is what I'll have my veggie burgers with, so I got the everything bagel thins, and then I got some spinach wraps to have with veggies oh gosh so yeah that's something that I'll have just with some veggies you know if I want something quick for lunch and then we got some sweet potatoes panko breadcrumbs because I can't live without those and some regular baby potatoes just when I thought I was done I remembered that there's more stuff up here I don't think there's that much though okay so just some of my power crunch bars you guys I got a couple of these I got them in like every flavor they come in these are the best protein bars I just keep them up here in case I need to leave quickly in the morning and want something for breakfast that's really easy oh my god I am out of breath from talking about all that stuff I'm looking up here so from Trader Joe's um, seasoning wise we got the everything but the Alo. I've heard really good things about this on Instagram, so I wanted to give it a try. We always get the 21 seasonings blend. And then up there, if you guys can see, we got an extra thing of onion salt and red pepper flakes, or red chili flakes. So yeah, that's everything I think that we got in the seasoning one. So I guess the last things that we got, I've been dying to try these. Well, I've had these ones before and they're really good. It's just some chips. So we have the spicy queso popcorners. Guys, these are addicting, okay? They are so good. They're better, you know, because they're not fried, just like a better alternative. But then I saw these. These are the opposite, definitely not good for you, but I wanted to give them a try. Spicy queso again. This is in the kettle brand of potato chips. They sounded really good. I literally can't believe it, you guys. I went through the whole grocery haul and by the end of it, my hair is now dried because I've been talking for so long. I literally ran out of memory, everything, because I bought so much food. You guys are gonna see so many cooking videos and recipes coming up very soon. As you can see, I have literally everything you could need <laughs> in my kitchen, so you guys will see a lot coming up. But that's it for the grocery haul segment of this video. Comment down below if you made it because I feel like I'm only talking to probably like three of you at this point. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I love going grocery shopping and I love sharing it with you guys and just showing you what my staples are because clearly I have a lot. <laughs> I just like to have options, okay? A girl likes to have options. But I'm going to make a coffee now. Finally, I've been waiting to film this before I have my coffee. I was like, you need to just get this over with, film it because I didn't want to take it all out of the fridge again. But I did it, put it all back. Everything is still nice and organized and I'm going to finally make my coffee and start my day. Hi guys, so it is the next day. I am a little bit of a mess right now. I have been editing so many videos and just getting a lot of stuff ready, but that was very vague, I'm sorry. But basically I've just been busy. Um, I cleaned this mirror though this morning and I feel like my vision is clear. This mirror was so 
dirty before. I didn't even realize how dirty it was until I cleaned it. But anyways, I, let me turn the camera around. I edited what I had of this vlog so far, which is literally just the grocery haul. And I was like, wow, this video is already 20 minutes long. Like that's, kind of intense so what i'm gonna do for the second portion to end off this vlog i'm gonna do a little mini workout clothing try on haul and just show you guys some things that i picked up a lot of you guys always ask for me to do videos like this where i try on a lot of workout clothes but honestly i just don't buy workout clothes in bulk like if anything i buy like one pair of leggings a month but i actually have a couple things maybe like four or five things to share with you guys that I've picked up recently. So I'm excited to share them because I feel like everything that I found is like really, really good top-notch stuff. So I'm going to show you that. And I'm going to have all the links down below that I can find. Because some stuff is from TJ Maxx, but you'll see. So all the links that I can find will be down below. And yeah, let's get started because there's some really cute stuff. Alright, so I'm very into color right now. So let's see, we'll do this stuff from Target first. I'm going to try this stuff on after I show it to you guys like this too. But the first thing that I got are these little biker shorts so these could be worn to work out I mean I'm sure I will at some point wear these to work out they're backwards but um, they're also really cute with like a big sweatshirt and some sneakers as just like a regular outfit and they had these in a bunch of different colors I wanted like all of them they were literally only $12 such a good price um, what's the brand of these Colsey I think that's what it says c-o-l-s-i-e I love the color for summer especially I'm gonna try these on and I'm like literally so pale i'm like see-through right now but when i'm tan these will look really cute so love these and i'm just like obsessed with like bright colors right now as you can see the next thing this is also from target so i saw this set from lab joy or joy lab i don't know i think it's joy lab since it's like this way but yeah joy lab i saw this set from them and i was like oh my god i need it it's my favorite color so i got um by the way i got these in a medium got this set both in a medium and it fits really well i'm like a standard medium in pretty much everything i always order a medium so got this set anyways um when i last looked it wasn't online yet but hopefully it is by now because i think they update target's website later than they do it in the stores it's weird but anyways couldn't find it online hopefully i can by now i could find it in other colors just not this beautiful bright blue um this top was let's see 19.99 so not bad at all and then the leggings right here let's see how much these were these were 29.99 so really not that expensive are these the back again yes <laughs> okay it doesn't really matter it's like the same but Here's the front. I love the ribbed texture on them. Like it's, oh, it's so cute and it's such nice quality. I posted an Instagram story of this one and you guys were loving it. I will definitely try that on in a second. But then over here, I found some good finds at TJ Maxx and I wanted to show you guys because I never used to think that they had good stuff there, but recently I've been finding some good stuff. So I got these two pairs of leggings. Love this color too. Although I love bright colors, I'm also really been into neutrals lately so basically i've been into everything but what i like about these leggings is like in the back you guys um the butt it like goes into like a little subtle triangle which is like pretty flattering on your butt and the material is so stretchy let's see how much these were 16.99 so really not bad at all what is the brand on these that would be helpful um harmony balance just in case you guys are curious. So these are like really stretchy and soft. And then the other ones that I got are by this brand. How do you say that? What is that? It has a Z on the butt if that helps. But these ones, oh my God, I love this color. This is like, oh, it's so nice, you guys. The material is so soft and stretchy again. And let me show you the back of these ones. They also do that little hello oreo they also do this little subtle v which is like so so flattering let me see is this the brand right here that's how you say that one <laughs> okay trying on this first set here this is so fun it is such a statement if you want to stand out, this is the set for you. I just love this color so much. I feel like it looks good on so many different skin tones. But um, if you have blonde hair, it especially looks good, I feel like, with blondes. Because, I don't know, like, this color, especially if you have light eyes, too, it really brings out, like, my eye color. It makes them look more blue. And I just 
love this you guys it sucks you in in the right places it's super thick right on this band right here not too thick but you know like thick enough where it will hold up it won't like fold over too much and it's so comfortable at the same time but the ribbed detailing on it is just so nice let me just see if the lighting is better this way so that way you guys can get a better look at how this looks on me oh my gosh i am just so in love with this I think it's so freaking cute for summer and spring. It's just like the perfect color. It's so cute, you guys. Like this set was made for me. Here are the little pink biker shorts on. So these are a little bit see-through and they're kind of more of a cotton material. So I don't know if I would recommend necessarily working out in them, but you can definitely just wear them with a little sweatshirt and stuff in the summertime with some sneakers. I love the color of them, so I feel like I will probably be wearing these a lot. This color is just so fun, and with a tan, this will look so good. Here are the more nude pink ones from TJ Maxx. Excuse the background, I am in the middle of cleaning the apartment, but here's what they look like on. I love these. They are so soft and just like very stretchy and comfortable. I feel like the color is pretty trendy and like... Uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? More subtle, so I like that for more everyday, you know, day-to-day -day wear, especially if I went to like a class or something. These would probably be what I wore just because they're less in your face, more just casual, everyday kind of leggings. And like I said, they are so soft. They're more like, I don't know how to describe the material of these ones, but they're even softer than all the other ones. And I love them. They kind of look like I'm naked right now just because of how pale I am, but... These are definitely another winner. Okay, and we're on the last set. I wish I could have found more matching sports bras for these two pairs of leggings, but they didn't have any, of course, at TJ Maxx. But um, I love these leggings so much, you guys. The color, these are more of like a 7 8 fit. Is that what it's called? Where it goes like mid-calf, which I like because I don't really have many like that. Most of mine go all the way down to my ankle. I love these. They have pockets on this one too, which is always nice. I find that... It doesn't really sound like you would need a pocket, but I find it very convenient when I'm working out so that there is a pocket in the leggings. So I love these so much. I'll show you guys what they look like right here. So here's what the leggings look like just from a different angle, not in the mirror. I think these are so cute. I love the color. Like I said, I wish I could get a matching sports bra with these because this color is just like everything. But yeah, that is all of the new workout gear that I've picked up recently. And I'm so excited about all of it. As you can tell, I literally have nothing but positive reviews for all the items that I got. But okay guys, I am about to go head down to a workout that I'm filming for another video, a separate video that you guys will see later on in the month. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you give it a big thumbs up. I'll try and leave links to everything that I can find down below for you guys to make it super easy to shop and stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up this video, leave comments, follow me on Instagram, follow me on my fitness Instagram, subscribe to my main channel. I have so much self-promo, but I love you guys and I'll talk to you in my next video very soon. Bye!